Hi, my name is Jared. Um, I am going to read you a uh, children's story called The Races by Hans Christian Andersen. Um, let's see here, I'm trying to get this. Okay, what's going to make this different is uh, that I was looking for a public domain book to read. What's going to make this different is I'm not going to try to read it well. I'm using this thing called zapreader.com where you can basically type in or you can paste a bunch of text into a box and it'll display you the text one word at a time and it'll just flash each word one after the other. And the idea is you can speed read things and read things faster than you normally would be able to read them. Um, it's by default it was set at 300 words per minute I kicked it down to 150 words per minute and I'm just gonna see how it goes um, maybe interrupted here because I'm at work but okay we're recording and camera angles kind of funky I also need to get a tripod here but we'll work with that later here we go the races by Hans Christian Andersen, 1858. A prize, or rather two prizes, a great one and a small one, had been awarded for the greatest swiftness in running, not in a single race, but for the whole year. I obtained the first prize, said the hare. Justice must, must still be carried out, even when one has relations and good friends among the prize committee. But that the snail should have received the second prize, I consider almost an insult to myself. No, said the fence rail who had been a witness at the distribution of prizes, there should be some consideration for industry and perseverance. I have heard many respectable people say so, and I can also quite understand it. The snail certainly took half a year to get over the threshold the door, but he injured himself and broke his collarbone by the haste he made. He gave himself up entirely to the race and ran with his house on his back, which was all, of course, very praiseworthy, and therefore he obtained the second prize. I think I ought to have had some consideration too, said the swallow. I should imagine no one can be swifter and soaring in flight than I am, and how far I have been, far, far, far away. Yes, that is your misfortune, said the fence rail. You are so fickle, so unsettled, you must always be traveling about into foreign lands when the old the love of fatherland in you. There can be no consideration for you. Seven times Okay, guys, somebody's talking. Distribution of the prizes I I and to the, vote, the but today to is, is the first time I, I have George been able to carry like out my will. I always reckon the first prize yeah. by going through the alphabet from the beginning, and the second by through from the end. Be so kind as to give and me Mike's your up. attention, and I will explain to you how I reckon from the beginning the eighth letter from. A is H, and there we have H for hair. Therefore, I was awarded to hair the first prize. The eighth letter from the end of the alphabet is S, and therefore the snail has received the second prize. Next year, the letter I will have is turned for the first prize, and the letter R for the second. I should really have voted for myself, said the mule, if I had not been one of the judges on the committee. Not only the rapidity with which the advance is made, but every other quality should have due consideration. As for instance, how much weight a candidate is able to draw. But I have not brought this quality forward now for the sagacity of the hare in his flight, nor the cunning with which he suddenly springs aside and doubles to lead people on a false track, thinking he has concealed himself. No, there is something else on which more stress should be laid, and which ought not be left unnoticed. I mean, that which mankind call the beautiful. 
It is on the beautiful that I particularly fix my eyes. I observe the well-grown ears of the hair. It is a pleasure to me to observe how long they are. It seemed as if I saw myself again in the days of my childhood, and so I voted for the hair. Buzz, said the fly, there I'm not going to make a long speech, but I wish to say something about hairs. I have really overtaken more than one hair when I have been seated on the engine in front of a railway train. I often do so. One can then so easily judge of one's own swiftness. Not long ago, I crushed the hind legs of a young hare. He had been running a long time before the engine. He had no idea that I was traveling there. At last, he had to stop in his career, and the engine ran over his hind legs and crushed them, for I set upon it. I left him lying there and rode on farther. I call that conquering him, but I do not want the prize. It really seems to me, thought the wild rose, though she did not express her opinion aloud, it is really not in her nature to do so, though it, it would really have been quite as well if she had. It certainly seems to me that the sunbeam ought to have had the honor of receiving the first prize. The sunbeam flies in a few minutes along the immeasurable path from the sun to us. It arrives in such strength that all nature awakes to loveliness and beauty. We roses blush and exhale fragrance in its presence. Our worshipful judges don't appear to have noticed this at all. Were I the sunbeam, I would give each one of them a sunstroke, but that one would only make them mad, and they are mad enough already. I only hope, continued the rose, that peace may reign in the wood. It is glorious to bloom, to be fragrant, and to live, to live in the story and song. The sunbeam will outlive us all. What is the first prize? asked the earthworm, who had overslept this time and only now came up. It contains a free admission to a cabbage garden, replied the mule. I propose that as one of the prizes. The hare most decidedly must have had it, and I, as an active and thoughtful member of the committee, took a special care that the prize should be one of advantage to him. So now he is provided for the snail can now sit on the fence and lick up moss and sunshine. He has also been appointed one of the first judges of swiftness in racing. It is worth much to know that one of the members is a man of talent in the thing men call a committee. I must say, I expect much in the future. We have already made such a good beginning. It's over. Just to give you an idea of what I'm seeing here, I'm going to start this over so you can see it. So that's what I was seeing for that time, and uh, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me thoroughly by this, from the microphone on this thing. Um, I'll put a link in the uh, comments here so you can check it out if you want to. The zapper here, it's pretty cool. It's like you can use it for news articles, whatever. Um, Also has like plugins and stuff you can use for stuff. <laughs> 